The Fluval Stratum series is a top substrate choice of planted aquarium enthusiasts all around the world. Let's review the line and learn more about these awesome products. There are some key similarities and differences between original stratum and all new biostratum. We'll start with the similarities and then discuss what differentiates each of these products later. So first of all, both stratum and biostratum are collected from the mineral-rich foothills of Japan's famous Mount Aso volcano. The substrates therefore contain a powerful mix of nutrients, minerals, and trace elements, which promote healthy aquatic plant development, growth, and colors. The substrates are made of lightweight granules, which facilitate strong root development and provide the plants with easy access to the nutrients they need. Stratum and biostratum are also great choices for terrestrial plants. Since the soil is nutrient-rich, plant cuttings quickly establish healthy root systems in the substrate without the need of any additional fertilizers. Also, normal soil can rot plant roots by smothering them, but since stratum and biostratum granules are lightweight and non-compacting, this isn't an issue. Stratum and biostratum also help maintain ideal water parameters for planted aquariums. The substrates promote a neutral to slightly acidic pH, which is ideal for live plants, as well as species of fish and shrimp that are commonly kept in planted aquariums. Stratum and biostratum also help soften aquarium water naturally and reduce carbonate hardness, and they also help control organic discoloration commonly caused by driftwood. Now let's review the differences between original stratum and biostratum. Original stratum features 3 to 5 mm granules optimized for plants with larger root systems. The granules are lightweight and non-compacting, which reduces the weight load on aquarium glass bottoms. With its slightly larger granule size, stratum is best used on its own in larger aquariums or as a bottom layer in tanks with plants that have deep root networks. Original stratum is also an ideal substrate for shrimp tanks. Because of its slightly larger granule size, it provides newborn shrimps with refuge until they're large enough to emerge into the aquarium. Biostratum, on the other hand, features one to three millimeter granules. These smaller, lightweight, non-compacting powder granules allow the finest and the most delicate of plant roots to easily penetrate and spread throughout the substrate. The granules also grip onto smaller plants a lot more efficiently, making planting carpeting plants a whole lot easier. The other key difference with biostratum is its bioactivity. The substrate is infused with dormant, beneficial, nitrifying bacteria, but once in contact with water, is activated to break down waste and kickstart the nitrogen cycle. Adding organic soils like the Stratum series to an aquarium usually results in increased ammonia levels. This can be dangerous for fish, so Biostratum rapidly reduces these levels and helps to stabilize water conditions in your aquarium. And that is it for today. Hit the link in the description down below to learn more about the Stratum series. If you have any questions, concerns, or conundrums, please leave those in the comment section. We'll be sure to get back to you as soon as we can. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.